Not 11, a seaplane begins to overturn after landing right next to cruise ships at Port Miami. Seven people survive. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Elliot Rodriguez. And I'm Naja Sherman. And tonight for Lauren Pastrana, witnesses still can't believe what they saw. CBS News Miami's Larry Seward is in Miami, and that's where federal investigators are working to find out exactly what happened. FAA and NTSB investigators took over after crews pulled the plane from the water behind me. A source says that one of the sponsons on that seaplane, which helps keep it afloat, took on water during landing with witnesses watching in disbelief. Partially submerged, propeller still spinning, the Cessna 208 seaplane's landing and the fate of all seven people on board caused a stir near Port Miami. It was like a movie or something. Didn't uh, seem real at all. According to Flight Aware, the pilot took off from Palm Beach International Airport and flew 74 miles south. But during its landing in government cut between cruise ships and Miami seaplane base, just a loud noise when it was landing. Jaws dropped. I'm Describe playing my game, and all of a sudden I'm seeing this. You know, it's like, what the hell? You know, everybody rushed over. A source says one of the sponsons below the hull that helps keep seaplanes afloat took on water, causing this plane to tip over. The cabin stayed dry long enough for Miami-Dade police on routine patrol and boats to help. They carried all seven people inside to safety. None needed a doctor. Everybody is fine. I'm glad everybody's fine. And ending witnesses at the paddleball courts nearby celebrated. Thank God, safe. Thank God we are in a water city. It was beautiful. Authorities used a crane to pull the wreckage onto a barge for a federal investigation. Federal Aviation and Transportation Safety Authorities will examine that sponsor to figure out exactly why it took on water. In downtown Miami, Larry Seward, CBS News, Miami.